Hey everybody, welcome back to The Scale Nerd. My name is Tom Pierce, and I'm about to take you through the first of four videos in our Reaper video series. The Reaper video series is a project I'm working on, the 124 scale uh, mod resin kit from UFAN Models. This is a modern day uh, sniper. So uh, we're gonna do a rooftop vignette type scene. Uh, could be somewhere in uh, Europe, uh, South America, it's really, not that critical what it is, but uh, it's a more of a modern day structure. Uh, the video will highlight a lot of different techniques in terms of uh, the base sculpt or the base fabrication of the rooftop from blue foam. We'll do fabrication of a lot of different types using stock styrene and brass. We're gonna do some clay sculpting and some uh, mold making with uh, pouring parts out of resin. So let's go ahead and get started, take a look at this video. Uh, the first one again is the uh, fabrication of the base and the, of the vignette. Second one is gonna be the painting, weathering and detailing of that vignette. And then videos three and four following soon after will be uh, to cover the figure itself, the sniper. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you see, uh, start out with the typical blue foam construction to build up the main structure of the rooftop and now I'm going to go ahead and mix up some of this material uh, this rock putty it's called it's basically a uh, very durable uh, kind of like a plaster of Paris mix but uh, it can actually be used outdoors so it's it's waterproof once it's set up and cured but it dries with a much much harder finish than uh, a plaster of Paris does. So we're gonna use both of those materials on this project, but for this part right here, we're gonna use the rock putty, and I'm also gonna use it to build up uh, the structure of some brick wall that we'll sh be using later. small balsa wood frame allows me to create a flat uh, about a sixteenth of an inch or so thick piece of brick wall out of the rock putty and the wire brush allows me to give some surface texture so let that set overnight and cure up nice and hard and then go in with a screwdriver and scribe in the mortar lines Using the Alumilite Quick Set Silic RTV silicone. And 
mix up together. Uh, just a small amount of catalyst goes into this mixture uh, to mix it up. It takes quite a while, about 18 to 24 hours to cure uh, before you can actually use it. So we'll go ahead and mix that up and pour this in. Once this is cured, we can go ahead and pull the mold away from the, or the original away from the mold and go ahead and pour in the resin. So the epoxy resin is the alumilite two-part AB, so it mixes a one-to-one -one, uh, resin and hardener. So we'll get this mixed up and pour that in. Then it needs, uh, it dries really quickly or it cures up in about five minutes, but I pretty much let it go for several hours, if not the next day before I actually use it just to make sure it's fully cured and hardened. So this material here, this sculpted, I'm not real crazy about it, it's my first try with it, but I went ahead and used it for this project and it worked out okay, but I, I don't think I'll buy it again. Uh, we're going to work on making the tile roof, uh, I, it, actually it's a metal roof I believe, but uh, so just basically roll it out like pizza dough and then go ahead and you can kind of carve and uh, manipulate it into the different shapes that you need to make the roof. Now this needs to dry and cure overnight before you can sand and paint it. So now we'll take some stock styrene and go ahead and start building uh, the capping for the top of the roof peak.
I've broken up some of the original uh, rock putty brick wall section that I used to make the mold from and using that to create a section of brick wall here. Now after the resin copy of the brick wall is cured, I go ahead and cut it up into sections and build my brick lining around the uh, chimney stack. So by cutting little miter joints in it, little sections, we just work our way around the chimney stack to, to complete that and the brick look that we're going for. Now using a little bit of vinyl spackling compound to create the concrete on the top. Mix in a little bit of large sand particles and uh, manipulate that a little bit and we got us a concrete uh, surface for the top of the chimney.
Okay, so now I'm building an exhaust stack here to go alongside of the building using stock styrene, some stock brass, and some aluminum foil tape. Uh, kind of construct and fabricate this exhaust vent stack that's gonna, we're gonna make it kind of old and rusted out and dirty. Uh, also using some, um, some sprue heated up and stretched out to cut off to make bolt heads. Now I'm creating all the flashing that goes around the brick chimney and uh, trim along the edge of the building. So using some aluminum foil tape and some Tamiya putty, we kind of get that uh, aluminum flashing with uh, kind of a black top tar material put over top of it. Now we're going to build us a little uh, satellite TV dish. So it took us the cap off of a small aerosol can. It's kind of a dome-shaped cap, so it worked out perfectly. I just draw a circle on there and take an X-Acto knife and cut out the very top of it, sand it down. That gives me the main structure of the satellite dish. Then using some stock styrene of different uh, configurations, heating and bending and sculpting and carving, uh, ultimately can uh, fabricate all of the supporting structure and mechanic, uh, mechanical parts and wiring and so forth that goes into making a somewhat believable version of a TV satellite dish.
texture the rooftop itself with a little bit of uh, scenery ballast glue, which is a thinned down PVA glue, and some sand. Now for this little bonus clip, I'll show you what I did to make a little water bottle. I took a dowel rod and locked it up in the chuck of a drill press to make a little poor man's lathe. And with some small files, I turned the dowel rod down into the shape of a water bottle and using the Alumilite made a mold. I don't recommend using this easy cast material. Uh, this was supposed to be a crystal clear epoxy that uh, I wanted to use to pour into the mold. Uh, the problem was uh, it, it came up pretty clear, but it was supposed to dry in like 24 hours, which I thought was too long. And as it turned out a week later, it never really cured uh, as rock hard as I thought it should. It was still kind of, uh, no, I won't say gooey, but it was soft. So uh, I ne wasn't very happy with it. I won't use this stuff again. Uh, I went ahead and used this bottle, but uh, I'm, I'm not real happy with it. But it worked out uh, once I painted it up and everything, it looked pretty good. But word of the wise, don't recommend using this material. Okay, so there you have it. That's the building and fabrication of the base structure for the Reaper uh, vin rooftop vignette diorama. So this 124 scale diorama will continue to work on as we go through videos two, three, and four. The next video, video two, we'll do all the painting and weathering and final detailing of the vignette base. Uh, video three, we'll get into assembly and base painting of the figure. And then vig uh, video number four, we'll do all the final detailing and, and uh, weathering and shading and, and the final touches on the figure and put the whole scene together and complete it. So again, thanks for coming and visiting me for this video. I encourage you to come back and watch my other videos. Uh, check me out on Facebook. Look for the Scale Nerd page on Facebook. And check out my YouTube channel. Look for the Scale Nerd on YouTube. And you'll see a lot of different videos where I show my other projects that I've been working on and share a lot of uh, additional de uh, techniques and details on how I put my stuff together. So until the next video, uh, have some fun and safe Happy modeling. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.